I know many of us love to buy and eat sausage rolls, right? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make very quality sausage rolls that you can make from the comfort of your home and you don't have to stress yourself anymore. Just leave the stress for Chef T. She's just going to make everything easy with her YouTube channel. So stay connected. My name is Tolani and I'm Diary of a Kitchen Lover. You need to watch this video to the end because you will definitely love this recipe. Quickly, we're going to run through the ingredients. The measurement will be in the caption, okay? We have flour, we have beef sausage, you need that beef sausage. Now we have some sugar, we have egg, raw egg, we have some milk, we have butter, salted butter, we have black pepper, we have onion powder, we have nutmeg powder, we have baking powder, we have paprika, and then we have seasoning. So these are all the ingredients you need to make your sausage roll. Let's get started real quick. You're going to start by combining your powdered ingredients. So I start with the flour and then the sugar. Now go ahead to add your nutmeg powder. Add your paprika. Now add the baking powder. Now what you want to do is after mixing or you mix first and then go in with your salted butter. Please note that your butter has to be cold, like stone cold, okay? So that it doesn't melt the mixture real quick. Another thing you can do is to cut the butter into box shape, like into cubes, so it's easier for you to mix it, okay? So before you add it into the flour, cut them into small cubes and then mix it with the flour. So you need to mix it properly until you get crumbs like this this is why i mentioned that your butter has to be like super cold so that it is still very very sticky sorry very very hard now once you've achieved this crumb level you want to mix your egg and your milk together so in another container mix your egg and your milk together and just whisk away Now that you have that mixture, what you want to do is to add them in bits into this your dough mixture. So just add very little first and then mix. What you want to get is a semi-hard dough. So you don't want it to be too watery. Mm -mm. What you want is like a proper dough that you can use to roll your sausage roll. Do you understand? Roll your sausages rather. <laughs> So if you feel like the milk mixture is not enough, just add a very little more and just mix until you achieve a dough. Now what you want to do now is to work your dough on a flat surface. So pour in some flour on the flat surface and transfer your dough into it and just knead. You can knead for like five minutes first and see how that works. Okay, it doesn't need too much kneading at all because you still want the dough to be very, very crispy and, you know, very, very crispy. So for you to have a very crispy dough, you don't want to knead your dough. You don't want to over knead your dough. Just It's just to mix everything together with your hand. And once you're, once you're done, you transfer this mixture into, um, in, you transfer the dough into a bowl. Just cover it and allow it to sit. Now you want to let this dough sit for like 30 minutes and then go ahead to make your beef sausage mixture. Now for the beef sausage mixture, you need beef sausage, ground beef sausage. This is what you find in the likes of Gala and all that and even in the sausage roll that you buy um, from the stores. So now add some seasoning to this. Go ahead to add some black pepper and then some onion powder. Now mix this properly. Make sure that all the ingredients are properly combined. If you want to use your hand, please by all means use your hand. Just make sure you wash your hand right afterwards. Mix it very, very well. Now, 
now that the mixture is ready we have our dough also ready so what you want to do is to make sure that you get the same size for all the sausage rolls so you want to cut them into small sections and use your measuring scale so it's your, measure, it's your measuring skill that will help you achieve the same size for all of the doughs. Now that you have equal sizes, you need to get your rolling pin. Your rolling pin is going to help you flatten the dough and then you cut it into your desired shape. Just exactly how it is being done on the screen, I flattened it and then you're just cutting into into the shape that you want so it's easier for you to roll it make sure that the edges are very sharp so you don't have you know um, shabby looking sausages now that you have this go ahead to fill the dough with the sausage mixture be very generous if you don't be like nigerian sausage roll sellers are big that you open the dough you will meet air inside <laughs> please be very generous with it a bag so that you know whoever you're serving it with will enjoy it to the fullest so just go ahead to roll it like this and you repeat the same thing for the rest of the dough here you have it guys here you have it it looks really good and it is it's even something i can even put in my mouth right now <laughs> i'm just joking but anyways go ahead to lay it on your pan your baking pan you can also bake this in your air fryer it doesn't have to be the oven okay i use my butcher mix air fryer oven in this video now that you've placed the sausages on the baking pan and they are ready to go into the oven apply your egg wash before you apply your egg wash let's type egg wash in the comment section let people know you watch this video to this point so now egg wash is either a mixture of egg and water or egg and milk i personally love to do egg and milk so it makes your dough look very very crisp and brown and have this perfect finish and that's what egg wash is for go ahead to bake this in 200 degrees for 30 minutes and what you have is a very very tasty sausage you don't have to go buy again just store in your fridge and enjoy serve to your family your friends you have a very crispy and moist on the inside crispy on the outside and super super tasty so tell me besties from the bottom of your heart are you going to try this is this worth trying is this simplified enough let me know in the comment section um i can't wait to see all of your comments if you haven't already subscribed this is another reason to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get first hand information for whenever i drop videos content recipes I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching again. I remain your favorite chef T. Bye.